Hi Sunday Schoolers, thanks for joining me today. My name is Laura and we will be doing the story called John the Baptist for the Sunday School session of January 31st. Let's start with our opening prayer, which you can find on the back of your binder. Dear God, thank you for the sun that shines and greets us every day. Thank you for my family and friends who like to play. Help us now to hear your word and learn about your love so we can always share about your grace from up above. Amen. Now, I want you to get, make sure you have your Sunday school uh, bin, and I want you to find your Sunday school journal that looks like this, and you're going to find your next blank page in there. And we're going to do a little getting to know you question today. And so in your journal today, I want you to think about how you share good news. So something in your life when you've had a, had good news and you want to share it with someone, how do you do that? So go ahead, find your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, whatever you would like to use in your journal today. And again, I want you to think about how do you share good news with others? And so I'm going to just write on the top, good news. And I think kind of one of my main ways that I share good news with others is by using my cell phone. I would call my family, my friends, when I have something um, good to share with them. So I'm going to draw a picture of my cell phone because that's one way that I share good news with others. And we're gonna kind of read a Bible story here very soon about someone that shares good news also. And we'll find out how he does it. So I'll give you a little bit more time here. Again, think about how do you share good news that you have in your life with other people. What are some things in your life that have been, um, that you've wanted to share with others? You know, maybe you did really good on a spelling test or you met your AR goal at school or you're in sports and you made five points or you won an award there, the spelling bee or something. I think some things in my life that I've wanted to share with others um, was when I got engaged, when I got my first teaching job, I wanted to share and tell my family that exciting news. And when we decided to buy a new house, those are all things that I got on my phone right away and wanted to share with others. So here's kind of mine. I just wrote on the top, good news, and I drew a picture of my cell phone. If you need more time to finish up your journal, pause the video. Um, if you are finished, you can go ahead and put that away and we'll get ready for our Bible story for today. Now, while I'm reading, feel free to have a snack from your Bible bin if you haven't already eaten it. And you should also be able to find a copy of the story in your Bible bin as well that you can follow along with if you choose. So we're going to read the story called John the Baptist. John was an unusual man. He had lots of hair and a long beard. His clothes looked like his face. They, too, were furry and hairy. His clothes were made of camel's hair, held together with a leather belt. John ate strange foods, including wild honey and locusts, a kind of grasshopper. Yuck! God gave John an important job. His job was to tell people that Jesus was coming and help them get ready to believe what Jesus would teach them. John knew the things Jesus would tell people were the most important things in the world. So there you can see him eating a locust. Ooh, yuck. When he taught people, John stood by the river and yelled out, hey, all of you, tell God you're sorry for your sins. Turn your life around and act in ways that are good and honest. Then he would turn to another group and shout, are you listening? This is important. Jesus is coming. He is the Messiah. He will save all of us. Day after day, 
John continued teaching, preaching, and crying out so people would listen. Many people came to hear what John had to say about Jesus. There were rich and poor people, honest and dishonest people, nice and not so nice people. There you can see, I'm trying to share that good news with those people. Some people listened to John, some people didn't. Some people said, that man must be a messenger from God. Some said, he is really odd. I am getting out of here. Many people believed the message God told. Those people said, I am sorry for my sins. I want God to forgive me. To each, John said, God does forgive you. He baptized those people in the river. The people started calling him John the Baptist. John the Baptist had done a good job. The people were ready to hear the message Jesus would bring. Now I have some questions for you from our story. The first one is, what job did God give John? So think back to the beginning of the story. What important job did John? God give John to do. Now remember, he wanted to tell people that, or he was supposed to tell people that Jesus was coming and get them ready to believe him. My second question for you to think about is, did John just tell other Christians or did he tell everybody? Think back here. John told everybody. It didn't matter who it was. He shared with everyone. And my final question for you is, why was he called John the Baptist? He got that name because he would baptize people in the river when they said they were sorry for their sins. So that's our story for the day. And this story makes me think of our Bible verse for the week. So you should find in your things your blank coloring sheet that looks like this. And here's what our Bible verse says. It says, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way before you. This is from Matthew chapter 11, verse 10. And so there you can see another picture of John the Baptist. Let's read that Bible verse again. It says, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare you, prepare your way before you. All right. Can you read it with me really fast one more time? See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Matthew chapter 11, verse 10. Now, we're going to get ready to put this or get it ready for it to go into your binder. So I want you to do your best work coloring this picture, right? You can use your crayons or your markers, right? Now would probably be a good time for you to pause the video until you're all done coloring. And then when you're done coloring, you can start it again and we will close out our lesson. We'll read through all of our previous Bible, vet, Bible verses and then we'll do our closing prayer. So go ahead, pause, do your best job coloring, and join me again when you are finished. All right, here is my completed memory verse page. Okay? And I am going to put it in my binder. Now remember, we are going to put them back to back so they can all fit. So I'm going to go find my binder. And I'm going to find... Where my last picture was and there's one in there so I'm going to put this one in the back of that and then I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning and I'm going to read through let's read through our other verses so from our first lesson it's in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth which is from Genesis verse 1, or chapter 1, verse 1. Then our next one was, I will remember my covenant, 
which is between me and you. Genesis chapter 9, verse 15. Then we had our story of David and Goliath. The battle belongs to the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 47. And our lesson, you are the God who performs miracles. Psalms chapter 77, verse 14. And then the next one was, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And his love endures forever. Psalm 106, verse 1. Ooh, then we had Jonah and the whale. And this one, in my distress, I called unto the Lord and he answered me. Jonah, chapter 2, verse 2. Then we got to talk about the birth of Jesus. So this one, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1, verse 12, uh, verse 21. Oh, and then here he is when he was born. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke chapter 2, verse 7. And then the next one. Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Luke chapter 2, verse 49. And then last, our one for today. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will re who will prepare your way before you? Matthew chapter 11, verse 10. And you'll remember that one with John the Baptist. Well, I'm so glad we could be together for our, um, our Sunday school lesson today. So let's end our time together with our closing prayer on the back of your binder. Lord, thank you for our time together and all the things we did. Thank you for our Sunday school teacher and each and every kid. Help us to remember how you love and forgive and help us to be thankful for each blessing that you give. Amen. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.